What's up my reseller friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. I'm a full-time reseller and I'm so glad that you have joined me today while I do my shipping. Today is Wednesday morning, but this video is likely going to get posted on Friday. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So my first item is actually something that my dad gave me. He gave me a little stack of these that he had saved for when we were kids and we went to Disney. When Indiana Jones first opened, they would hand these little cards out to you. So in the when you're in line to get on the ride, so the queue for the ride, you, you walk inside this cave. And in the cave, they have a bunch of like uh, writing that looks like this. So this card is just kind of like an identification card to help you figure out what the writing on the wall says. And it was just kind of something to entertain you while you waited in line. Because when that line, when that ride first opened, the lines were very, very long. Um, so yeah, this was like a total blast from the past for me. Um, this is when AT&T were sponsoring the ride. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad gave me a little uh, stack of these that he had saved and it's like literally in mint condition. It's in really good condition for the age. I mean, he held on to these since like the nineties. So I do have some of these in my shop. I have them for $10 a piece and I do charge for shipping, but I am going to be trying this, the um, shipping where you only pay like 64 cents and you send it in an envelope. And this is going to be my first time ever using, cause I don't really sell cards really. Um, so I am curious to see how well this is going to work. So if you sell like cards or like postcards or anything like super thin like this, they're always adding what type of categories you can add to that. But basically it's got to be like really like thin type things like this in order to use the service. And it basically is being able to ship something and it's just an envelope, a really light item. And um, they only charge like 64 cents and it comes with the tracking. So this is something that's exclusive to eBay only. Um, so yeah, it's called the eBay standard envelope. And it did come up on here that I am qualified for it. I think you have to keep this at one ounce though. So let me see what happens. I'm gonna put it in one of these envelopes. It'll look like this. And then of course I put it in my cardboard because I don't want it to bend. And I'm just gonna fold it over like this. I hope this isn't too small. Let's see what types of, you gotta put it like this. I think it will fit. I'm gonna see what happens when I put in the weight and dimensions. So I'm learning something right now. <laughs> I've never done this before. Ooh, this weighs 1.1. Let's see what happens if I change this to two. If it, oh, it goes up to 88 cents. You know what? I'm gonna be daring and keep it at the one. <laughs> it's fine, because it's at 1.1. Um, and then I'm gonna put in the dimension. So when I when I put in that it was two ounces, it raised it up from 64 cents to 88 cents. All right, so this I'm gonna it's five and a half by six. So I'm just gonna put six by six and see what happens. Yeah, it kept it at the. Uh, $62. I'm going to add a little bit of tape on the corner. I don't want to put too much tape though because I'm trying not to add to the weight. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of tape on the corners. And the buyer did pay the $0.64 cents in shipping. Yeah, I mean that looks like that's going to be good. I was excited to try it. <laughs> so my next sale is this lot of two Barbie dolls. Um, they weren't really worth that much. So I just kind of lotted them together. This only sold for $8.99 plus the cost of shipping of $6.33. And is 
going to weigh 13.2 ounces and it's going to cost $6.33, exactly what I charged. This next item could possibly be one of my very oldest listings. I don't list stuff like this anymore. I think I listed it back when I lived in Colorado. That's how long it's been, but it's just this little bear. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is it's called Prayer Bear. Um, I had moved it. it. I had it like stored somewhere and I moved it over the weekend and then it sold. I need to just go through and touch all my old inventory. So how I'm going to ship this is how I ship almost all my breakable items. I am wrapping it in bubble wrap. And then from there, I'm going to wrap it in cardboard. It sucks that when you do this extra step with the cardboard, it does add a little bit of extra weight to the package, which could end up costing you a little bit more to ship, but it's worth it if you know it's gonna get to the buyer safe. And you just know that when you list the item so that you can charge the appropriate cost of shipping. And then I'm gonna ship it in this eBay box. This is the six by four by four size. See how it fits perfectly. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some stuffing in it. So I, I wanted to show you guys what I did. I did a lot of cleaning and organizing in here over the weekend and I have this, laundry basket um that's like a divider <laughs> that i wasn't using so on this side i have like my my pocket my air pockets and on this side i just have the uh, paper stuffing whatever you call them and these are all just things that i get from like my own shipping like when i order stuff and you know i buy things i get this i have people that give me shipping stuff so I keep it in here and it's just like, it goes right underneath this desk I have over here. It fits perfectly. So when I do my shipping, I could just move it out and put it right here. So it will help me just to be a little bit more efficient on my ship. So we're just gonna stuff that so that it's in there nice and secure and safe. There's no way this is gonna get damaged. I started um, moving a little bit faster now because I actually had to pause this video because I got a phone call and I ended up being on that phone call for way longer than I anticipated. Um, see, yeah, that, that happened. I have to come back in here and restart it. Um, I just took way too long um, on the, the call. So I had to pause this pause my recording, come back on here. And now it's way later and my shipping lady could literally show up at any time now. So I'm trying to go a little bit faster. All right, so I gotta start over real quick and put, uh, what was the Indiana Jones measurement again? All right, so this little bear ended up selling for $4.74. I'm running a promotion in my store right now where I have a lot of my old inventory for 50% off. So I have a lot of really low price items in my store right now. And that's just me trying to move out old inventory. Um, and yeah, $4.74. And then I charged $6.33 for shipping, but it only cost me $4.31. So that's awesome. And then the next two items I have was a bundle sale and it is two blouses. One of them is this, um, whole, it's like a Hawaiian shirt, but it's Coca-Cola. Let's see if you can see the Coca-Cola logo. It's kind of cute. It's a women's t-shirt size large. And then this is a brand it's called Cornet. Cornet? It's a vintage, but I actually really want to tell you a story about 
uh, the yard sale where I got this shirt from because I thought it was kind of interesting. But let me go ahead and print out the labels for these really quick so that I can put them out there. And then, um, and then I'll come back here and tell you about this yard sale. All right, so uh, the Coca-Cola shirt I sold for $9.99. And then the other shirt, the coordinate shirt, sold for $8.50. I had had that listed since July of 2022. So this one was on my promotion. And I probably had on there, um, the buyer probably paid the, uh, got the 15% off, like buy one, get one 15% off. But they did pay $11.58 for shipping. And it's only going to cost me $6.33 to ship. So that makes up for it. And that's one of the reasons why I do that. The buy one, get one, whatever percentage. I, I don't know what I, what I have it for clothing, but I do that to kind of help offset the cost of shipping a little bit. All right, let me just go ahead and print these labels real quick. So this is what it looks like for that one that's for the cart. Cool. That was way easier than I anticipated. I love that eBay offers that. I wish that they would add uh, Barbie clothes as a part of that category. Like if you could ship like little tiny Barbie clothes and a little envelope like that, like that would be so game changer for me, for my business if they included that. But they're constantly including more categories to qualify for it. So you never know, it could happen one day. All right, so those are all my eBay sales. I did not get any Poshmark sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these out because the eBay ones are the most important ones that need to go out because I do have like same day shipping on my eBay store. So let me go put these out and then I'll be right back. It is so beautiful outside today. Oh my gosh, it's days like this that are my favorite it's supposed to get up to about 81 degrees and i can hear the birds tripping oh it's just i love i love this weather so much it puts me in a good mood all right so i want to tell you about that yard sale so like i said it was during 2022 at some point so it was this guy that was trying to sell all his mom's stuff that had passed away it wasn't an estate sale but he just had a lot of his mom's random stuff and he was just trying to make a little bit of extra money. And there was like piles and piles of clothing. And I remember it was like a really hot day. The sun was beaming down on me so hard. And I remember like almost passing out like a couple of times. It was so hot. But I was like, no, I want to get through it. I'm going to look through all these clothes. And I got a lot of stuff at that yard sale. All the clothes were a dollar. And there was a lot of vintage stuff in there. So that's why I was going through it. I did end up picking up a ton of vintage Looney Tune women's clothing. And all those have sold since then. Those are long gone. So I, I, I did find a lot of really good pieces in there. But like that t-shirt in particular that I had sold. I'll show you right here what it looks like. This is the shirt. Um, so the the guy who's running the, run, the yard sale was telling me that his mom had passed away. He's trying to sell her stuff and that he, she had a lot of really good clothes. There was a lot of like, a lot of the vintage clothes were still like new with tags. And he had told me, he was like, yeah, my mom worked for the Broadway. And I was like, oh, your mom was on Broadway? I was like, how cool. And I just thought that was like, like super awesome. I was like, oh yeah, his mom worked for Broadway. But then when I came home, and I was like looking at the clothes. I saw the tags that it said like the Broadway on it. And I was like, oh, the Broadway must have been a store. <laughs> That's not as cool. <laughs> but then I was curious. I was like, what's the Broadway? Like I never heard of it before. But the way that, that he mentioned when he said the Broadway, it was like something that I should have known, right? That he felt like I should know. And I was like, what's the Broadway? Like, I've never heard of that before, so I looked it up. And it makes sense because it actually was a department store 
that opened like in the 60s in Los Angeles. So it was a Southern California thing. And I actually grew up in Northern Cal California. So it would make sense that I had never heard of this before, but it did, there were some department stores here in Southern California, and then they actually opened some up in Arizona too as well. But I never heard of them before, but I guess they opened in the 60s and they closed down like in the 90s, so yeah. But I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> History lesson from Sabrina. <laughs> no posh sales, but I wanted to tell you guys that Macari's kind of like, doing great for me <laughs> thought that our sales would be up like the first month since the changes but i'm hoping that like that it's going to be more permanent because i'm really liking that i'm getting a bunch of sales on makari i'm really at a point too where i am accepting all offers that i get like any offer i just hit accept and the reason for that is because now my entire makari store is all the items have shipping charge on it when before at one point my whole makari store was all free shipping and that i would just buy the labels using um pirate ship but i stopped doing that for a few reasons and the main reason was actually something that a viewer has said to me in the comments that really uh resonated with me and really made me rethink about how i did makari because they had mentioned, oh, on Macari, you know, they no longer have that little logo on your picture that says free shipping. Because they used to have that. If you had free shipping and people were browsing through the listings, they would see that little icon on there and they would know it would come with free shipping. But now that many people don't use free shipping on Macari and they've taken that little logo off, most people are just going to assume that it's shipping. So even though I included the cost of shipping in my listings, it seemed like I wasn't getting sales because people just assumed that there was going to be shipping on top of that. So it made it seem like my items were expensive, even though they weren't. So I have been working on slowly, like going through. And of course, any new listing I would post on Macari, I would charge shipping. But I was trying to go through and slowly update all my listings. So I would just go into my Vindu app and I would end them. And then I would update it to include shipping and then probably drop the price a little bit because of course these are going to be on some of my older listings and then I would relist it. So not only was I now um, including shipping on my listings, but I was also updating my listing. I was refreshing it by relisting it. So I have been slowly doing it, but now that Macari is doing the free shipping, I just went through and deactivated all my listings that I haven't got a chance to update the shipping on. So now I only have like 700 listings in my Macari store and I have about 500 listings that are deactivated and I've just been going every day and doing a few of them here and there. And of course, these are all older listings, so I don't feel too bad about them not being active right now, but I'm slowly going to get there and I'm going to get my store running. But um, that's what I've been doing and um, yeah, I've got five Macari sales to ship today and that is rare. I don't know when was the last time I had five Macari items to ship in a day. The last two days though before this, I didn't get any Macari sales, but then today I randomly got five. And what is, is it like more than what I shipped on eBay that like never ever happens. It's so weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and do these shipping I already printed the labels out, so I just have to package them. So the first one, so I had listed these on eBay. I tried listing them twice, and both times that I listed them, eBay removed them. Or yeah, they did something weird. I I don't it's not that they removed them, but they like blurred out my pictures. And I guess they thought that they were like too like offensive or something. I don't know, but they're like patches of like pinup girls, right? So that they look like they're not like naked or anything. They're just pinup girls. So I don't know what it was, but yeah, eBay didn't like them. So I just removed it from eBay and left them on Mercari. And then they never really sold on Mercari. They just sat there for like two years. <laughs> and then somebody sent me an offer this morning for eight dollars 
And of course, everything is gonna be like plus shipping, right? And then we know that we're not getting charged fees, so it's just like, I'm just getting $8 for these. So I was just like, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of these. Like, why do I even still have it? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and ship these out, but I think, yeah, I think that should be good. That's fine. Next item, that was dumb. Um, next item are these Hot Topic socks. I had talked about this quite a few times in my videos. Um, after Christmas, Hot Topic was having this sale that all their clearance was like, buy one, get four free or something like that. And I had gone through and I, I bought like close to $200 worth of Hot Topic stuff. Like I left with like four or five big bags full of Hot Topic merchandise. And they have been consistently selling for me. So that was such a great pickup. I kind of regret not going to like a couple more Hot Topics in my area. And it's like... They're nothing like too crazy, like super great sales, but they're all like, uh, they're decent. They're decent items, bread and butter type stuff. That's just constantly getting like some revenue flowing in my, in my store. And um, like a lot of like jewelry, like I had bought a bunch of like little jewelries and chokers and bracelets and stuff like that. And they're selling, so. Next one is these shoes. These came from that um, box that Misty sent me. These look like this. Um, so these go to Ever After dolls. You know, those dolls that um, they kind of look like they could be Monster High, like they're influenced by Monster High, but these are more like based off of fairy tale characters. And this these shoes in particular went to a doll that was an oversized doll so it was an alice in wonderland one so you know how in the alice in wonderland movie how alice eats the little candy and it makes her like grow into like a giant well it was supposed to be alice as like a giant so that's why the shoes are so mega <laughs> because it went to that doll so I accepted an offer on these. I had them listed for 15 plus shipping, I believe. And somebody sent me an offer for like $12. And of course I accepted that offer because I mean, that's just a straight 12 bucks. And it actually says um, EA at the bottom of the shoe. I don't know if you could see, it's kind of hard to see, but it says EA. And that stands for ever after. So if you ever see, have any like little loose doll shoes and you see that EA at the bottom of the shoe, you know that that's ever after. I like to fold the envelope in a bit. To give it a little bit of extra padding. So this next item, you've probably seen this logo on bumper stickers on cars. It's the he's greater than I. So this is the he is supposed to be Jesus. So like saying that he's like bigger than myself. And this is a brand that comes from Hawaii. And when we had recently gone to Hawaii, they had one of these stores there and my husband really wanted to go there and get a shirt. And then we realized afterwards when we got home, like, oh no, we never went to that store. So he never got to get a shirt. And then he went online to order one and on their website, like they were all like out on size large of everything. So he was like bummed because he didn't get that. So I was I was out the thrift store and I found one of these and it was in a large in his size. And I was so excited to bring it home and show him that I had found one of these shirts for him. And I only paid $1.50 for it because it was half off a closed day. 
And um, so, yeah, I was so excited to give it to him. And he was so excited about it, too. But then he tried it on and he just said that it just didn't look good on him. He didn't like the way it looked. So that was a bummer. I was kind of <laughs> upset about that. But it's OK, because then I was like, OK, well, I'll list it online. And then I realized that these actually do really good. So if you ever see this brand, he's greater than I pick it up. This sold very quickly. I had it listed on Macari. Um, and somebody sent me an offer. How much did I have it listed for? I think I had it listed for 20 and plus shipping. And then someone sent me an offer for 15 and it was like after I had only had it listed for a couple days and I was like $15 cause I know I'm not getting charge fees. So just the straight $15 from a dollar 50 for something that I was able to list like really fast and get that really quick flip to me, that was like a no brainer to accept it. So yeah, so I was I'm bummed that I didn't fit my husband, but I am happy that I was able to get a cool sale from him. And then I was actually at a thrift store yesterday and I found another one. Ugh. See, I found this one. I did kind of overpay for it though. This one's a women's. I almost kind of thought about keeping it. I might actually, but um, I did kind of overpay. Learn California thrift store prices, $6.89. So, um, but if I can get a quick flip on it, make 10 bucks. All right. Ah, shoot. My last sale. It was actually from my daughter's stuff. So when Wreck-It Ralph Part 2, Ralph Wrecks the Internet came out. I'm sure most of you have seen it. If you haven't, go watch it. They had the, um, the princesses in it. And um, it was kind of popular. Like they sold a lot of like the princess dolls and stuff like at the store. And if you find those ones from like that they would sell like at like Target or Walmart or whatnot. They're bigger, more the size of an actual Barbie doll. Those ones really don't have that great of a value just yet. They're still kind of too new. But there was a set that they sold at the Disney store that had them that they were this size. What size is it? It's like six inches? Yeah, so these are six inches. So they're like half the size of like a regular size Barbie doll. But it came with a set of all the princesses. And I bought that for my daughter for Christmas and she was like super stoked and loved it. Opened it up, like I don't think she ever played with them, ever. And I had them sitting in like my closet, just sitting there doing nothing. And I was just going through my closet trying to find stuff to sell. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sell those dolls. Like, uh, So I've listed all the dolls that I had for $15 plus shipping. And I thought about selling them in a lot, but after doing my research, it looked like they sell better if you sell them separately. Now, of course, if you sell them in a lot, that's cool because then you can probably like, it's way less work, right? But me, I just feel like I'm really good at like, if I have a bunch of like the same type of item, I can very quickly make lots of listings. Like it's not that big of a deal for me. It doesn't take up that much more of my time. The only thing that does take up more time is now you have to ship them individually. But like I said, if I'm going to make like an extra like 50 bucks from doing that, then it's just worth it. So that's why I ultimately decided to do. I already sold Milan and this is the second one that sold Belle. Um, so she sold, she sold for $15 and somebody just straight up bought her and then sent me an offer. How am I going to ship her though? Hmm. I think I'm going to put her in bubble wrap. And my mail lady didn't come yet, so I'm all good. I made it in enough time. And my tape just ran out. <laughs> and I didn't have enough tape. Shoot. Grab this bad boy. Ah! 
I do want to show you something really awesome that I picked up at the thrift store yesterday. Just because why not? It's been sitting here. I've been looking at it and I wanted to show you because I actually kind of proud of this find because I thought it was awesome. So tapestries, these types of blankets are pretty good bolos. And what else is a good bolo is Aristocats. You put the two together, you got a good find. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's a really cool. I'm pretty sure it's vintage from the 90s. I'm not entirely sure. I could not find a single thing on it because it is not anywhere online. I looked it up everywhere, did a Google search, did a Google Lens search, nothing. So I am gonna list it high. And if I have to sit on it for a while, I'll sit on it. It's like, for most of my items, I would say like a good like 95% if not higher of my items, I am just like, let's just sell this. Let's just price this to sell it fast. Um, but I had get certain things that I feel are really cool and really rare that I'm like, nah, I'm gonna hold off on this. And I'm gonna get my maximum profit and I'm gonna find the right buyer for it. So this is just one of those items that I am gonna be listing it pretty high. I think, I think what I'm gonna do, don't quote me, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm gonna do $200 or best offer. Um, but yeah, this was a really cool find. I found a thrift store that I'm like super stoked on. Uh, that is overpriced. I think I paid $10 for this. Which for a thrift store for a blanket, that is kind of overpriced. But I don't mind if things are overpriced if I can find good things. And this thrift store is overpriced. All thrift stores in California are overpriced now. Um, but they have good stuff. So I found a lot of other like really cool stuff that I'm excited to get listed today. Um, yeah, I think I pulled the tag off already. It was either $7 or $10, I can't remember, but yeah, I really liked that find. <laughs> so I do have some ideas for some upcoming videos that I wanna do. I am thinking of doing a ship with me live. What do you guys feel about that? Would you guys tune into that if I did it? And if so, like what day do you think I should do it? If you are interested in a ship with me live, I want you to comment below and let me know like what day and time I should do it. And then I guess like from there, I'll, um, I'll figure out like what the majority would work for the majority. So let me know in the comments. And then the other thing is that I am going to be making a video that just goes into detail about how to ship on eBay using USPS. Um, I think that's going to be really great for a lot of new sellers and I have like a lot of ideas and um, I think I can make a really good video and I think that if I make that video it will also be something really awesome for my channel to have as like a reference when I'm doing my ship with me videos. Uh, I could say like oh watch this video for more details on this. So I think that would just kind of be really good to have on my channel is to have a really detailed uh, a video that teaches you how to ship using USPS. I do have a friend who I've been helping out who is, who is kind of new to selling on eBay. And, um, you know, I am realizing that as I'm like helping her with some stuff, I am realizing how important shipping is for resellers and especially new resellers. Like if you don't know how to ship right, it's good, you're gonna end up losing a lot of money. So I think that the most important thing that any new reseller should learn before they even think of selling is how to do their shipping. And they need to have some shipping supplies on hand and you need to have a scale that weighs your packages. So, so that's something I have coming up. I am going to be filming it soon. I don't know when I'm going to release it, but I'm hoping to get that up soon. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me this morning. And I hope that you guys all have a great weekend, lots of sales. And never forget that when you thrift upon a star, your dreams will come true. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.